knew it, that he was a great shooter, an elite shooter. And he was in me. And some of the shots he took, I was like, no. <laughs> yes. But uh, you know, he, he's a great shooter. And when 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 people can do things at a high level, you let them do it. <laughs> Coach, what was what was the um message to your team? What will be the message to your team regarding rebounding? <laughs> we already talked about that. And I told him. If we want to beat elite teams, we can't give up 15 rebounds, 15 offensive rebounds. They didn't hurt us with it, but the, the teams that we want to play against or we're going to be playing against, we give up 15 offensive rebounds, we're gonna, we're, we'll, we'll lose. Uh, Patrick, just um, Stormo with Sienna. Um, could you tell me a little about kind of the prep for him and maybe uh, kind of how he, lived, how he lived up to expectations? Um, he played great. <laughs> I mean, double double. Um, you know, we knew he was he was skilled. Uh, I didn't think he would he would have gotten twenty five points and ten rebounds, eleven rebounds, five offensive rebounds. Definitely hurt. We're much bigger than he is, you know. But he played a great game for them. Um, was that a couple of possessions of zone I saw at the end of the game? Yes. Yes. You know about that. <laughs> Come on now, you've seen us play zone in years past. Even though uh, you know I prefer to play man, you know you have to, you have to, you know, be able to be be ready for everything. We'll we be re we we'll press. I know team will press us. We'll play zone. Um, I thought the older group did a great job of when the zone. I didn't think the younger guys did uh, as good of a job, good a job. But it's it's part of our a part of our defense. You got to hold you know hold certain things in your in your back pocket. Kaden, what clicked for you today? Um, obviously, Patrick just talked about it being a little bit disappointed from uh, the American game, but you know, shooters keep shooting, and that seems to be uh, that seemed to be what you did tonight. Yeah, um, that, that's really what it was. I just kept shooting. I knew my teammates were going to give me the ball um, at the right spots at the right time, and my job is just to simply knock it down. Um, and I think they did a good job of finding me today, and the game plan from coach it, it worked to perfection. You know, you're new, but do you feel comfortable in the system and with everything, you know, just, you know, first year here, kind of getting thrown into the mix. Um, um, do you feel settled? Yeah, I think it was a it was an easy transition. Um, the guys around the locker room are amazing to be around. And when when that's the case, um, it's, it's really easy to just step in and do what you need to do and take care of what you need to take care of every day. All right. So it seems like you're very comfortable when you get your feet set before you really talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I've always, I mean, I've always, always been just my feet set. Um, just get my feet set. I know the shot's going in. Um, yeah. He's an elite shooter. <laughs> hey, look, I've had the opportunity to play against guys that, that were elite shooter, Chris Mullen. Uh, Larry Bird, Reggie Miller. Um, I'm saying he's the one he's up with those guys. You know, one of the things I keep telling them is that those guys worked on their game every day. Um, he works on his game and he believes in that shot. That's when, you know, when we when we watched tape on him last year, I'm like, yeah, we have to go get him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're going to head to the Zoom. Patrick Waring, Nuts and Bolts Sports Hour. Hey, uh, hey, Coach, uh, congrats on the win tonight. Thank you. Um, what do you think about your team, just not only how they played tonight, but just overall how they responded um, after the first game of the season? Um, I'm proud of them. I'm proud of the way that they responded against American. Proud of the way that they came today. We made a lot of mistakes. That were things that we have to clean up, like the rebounding. Um, but... You know, we we fought for everything that we got. You know, we were able to make shots tonight that we we didn't make in against uh, Dartmouth, um, but it's still a work in progress. All of these games is is to get us prepared for the the, the gauntlet that we have coming up. We're going out west to play some tough teams out there, so we have to get ready for that. Um, all these games are, are all to get us ready for and prepared for the Big East. And then for Caden, um, not only did you have a great game tonight. But just how how do you how did you feel about your performance tonight and just in general coming in the team with your role uh, with being a new guy but being a guy that's played basketball a lot at this level 
just as far as the leadership part, um, how do you see yourself fitting in here? Yeah, um, we got a lot of young guys on the team. So I know it's important for me to step in and, you know, help lead these guys along with um, a couple of the other older guys we got on the team. Um, just aside from being a shooter, um, I feel like that's an, one of the big parts of my role. Um, not even just by being a raw, raw guy, but, you know, just stepping in and um, cheering my, the young guys on whenever they mess up, just know that I got their back um, and that we all have each other's back. So. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Aiden Curran, Hilltop Hoops. Hey, Patrick. Uh, Don Carey is now shooting 64% from three point uh, range this season. Um, he's, he's playing pretty well and he, he looks to have added some, some new things to his game this off season. Seems to be attacking the paint more. Did you know he could do that last season or has this been a, has this been a change for him coming into this season? Well, he's been in your year, uh, so he's more comfortable. Uh, you know, last year we had a lot of other guys that can do a lot of this, a lot of different things. So he kind of took a little back seat to Javon and Jamarco, uh, Q. Um, but you know, he's worked, he's worked on his game, um, all summer long. He's worked on his body, you know, and all of those things that he did, he's, he, 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 um, he's put in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hours in, in, in the gym. So all of his hard work has paid off, is paying off. And Caden, the question for you: um, You have some you have some Ridgeview, Ridgeview friends on the team. Uh, you have Malcolm and you have Greg Jackson in today as well uh, visiting. Can you just talk about how that helps you acclimate to Georgetown, having Malcolm, especially um, you know from high school, having that connection? Oh, most definitely. As soon as I was getting recruited by Georgetown, I hit up Malcolm. and was like, "Hey, is Pat crazy?" <laughs> <laughs> and he said yes. And he said yeah. <laughs> um, but it's uh. I mean, it's just, it's, it's nothing like really just having a guy that you've known. I've known him since eighth, he was in eighth grade. Um, just that, that, that helps with me coming in and trying to be a part of a team. Great, thanks. Okay, our final question is back to the room with Kareem Copeland. Oh, sorry. I was going to ask real quick about the three-point shooting today. You know, you hit seven. Um, I think Don hit four, two for two from um, from Harris. Is that shot guys just making shots, or were you guys? Did you guys see something that you could exploit, and were kind of running something to to get those good looks? Um, it's a little bit of both. They were making shots. You know, uh, you know. I know he was going to come back and, and start making shots. I ran a few plays for to get him shots. I think I think that everybody else they just got their shots out of the flow of the offense. You know. Um, we have a guy like Amino Muhammad who can go downhill. He's going to create a lot of, uh, draw a lot of uh, people around him. Part of his grown, growth is when he's eight, when they do that to find the open guys. These guys, uh, both he and Don are going to make his job a lot easier when he's attacking. But, and also Dante. Dante can go downhill and he, he, got, he, has, you know, he knows when to shoot and he also knows when to pass. But, you know, we, we have a, a team that's a lot different than it was last year. We were in, you know, try to get Q the ball inside, and then the rest of the guys eat off that. This year is uh, Amino on the pose, Amino attacking. These guys able to, to knock down threes and put it on the floor, get them in pick and rolls, and then the rest of the team, you know, uh, getting their opportunities when they have when they're available. All right, thank you all. Thank you.